Well, good afternoon, children. Uh, we are now going to see the extension of what we have already learned in the inverse trigonometric functions. Before we get on to the actual facts of inverse trigonometric functions and solving the problems, let us first look into certain properties. I am going to give you a, a series of properties that you have to note down and based on uh, those properties only we will be solving majority of the problems. Well, the first property of inverse trigonometric functions sin inverse x is equal to cosecant inverse 1 by x cos inverse x is equal to secant inverse 1 by x tan inverse x is equal to cot inverse 1 by x. Here these formulas can also be replicated as cosecant inverse x is equal to sin inverse 1 by x secant inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 by x cot inverse x is equal to tan inverse 1 by x. Now, let us try first of all one problem and understand exactly how this problem I mean these properties are true. Well, I will take the tan inverse x let tan inverse x is equal to theta. Dear children we know that tan inverse x is equal to theta y we have taken because all inverse trigonometric functions are basically the angles. When they are the angles, so we have to represent in the form of theta. So, I have taken theta. The next is equal to tan theta by inverse tendo by inverse tendo what we can write is 1 by x is equal to 1 by tan theta resulting 1 by x is equal to cot theta we know 1 by tan theta is equal to cot theta. Then bringing cot theta to the left side the theta is equal to cot inverse 1 by x. Now I go for replacing the theta what according to the my assumption that tan inverse x is equal to cot inverse 1 by x hence the result we have proved the result. Well now let us go for set set of properties 2. Now we are going for set 2. What are the properties? Sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2, cot inverse x plus tan inverse x is equal to pi by 2, secant inverse x plus cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Well, dear children, we are now going to use, uh, we are going to prove one of them, the remaining leaving the remaining two for you has to as a homework. Now, let us find, let, let us take uh, the secant inverse and cos inverse, cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Here what I am going to do basically let secant inverse x is equal to theta. Why we have to take? Because we know that all the inverse trigonometric functions are basically the angles. So secant inverse x as also an angle so I have taken theta. Then x is equal to secant theta as secant inverse goes to the right side it becomes secant theta. Thus x is equal to I write this one as using uh, angles of complementary that is, I write cosecant 90 minus theta. We know that in class 10th itself we have studied that cosecant 90 minus theta is secant theta. So, according to that I have written this. Now, I bring cosecant to the left side it becomes cosecant inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta resulting the theta if I bring this side then you get cosecant inverse x plus theta is equal to pi by 2 resulting again cosecant inverse x plus theta was assumed to be secant inverse x. So, it is secant inverse x is equal to pi by 2. Hence, this is the result of the last one. In the similar fashion, you may also prove the remaining two. Thank you. We shall now be thinking about set 3 set, uh, set three properties. What set 3 going to be? Sin inverse minus x is equal to minus sin inverse x cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x tan inverse minus x is equal to minus tan inverse x. Now, I shall be concentrating on the second one quite unlikely because we are kept on doing the third one. So, we will be now doing the third second one. So, how to prove it? Prove cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x. As I told you already inverse trigonometric functions are always the 
angles. So, let us begin with the LHS. Let cos inverse minus x is equal to theta. The cos inverse goes to the right side minus x is equal to cos theta. Thus, x is equal to minus cos theta. Cos is negative, uh, cos is negative in second quadrant and third quadrant. So, when I travel from first quadrant, I shall be meeting first second quadrant, then only the third quadrant. And in second quadrant, we have two allied angles. One is pi by 2 plus theta and pi minus, th pi minus theta. So, of the two, I find feasibility with the second one because pi will never bring the change in the cos function which I require to retain as it is. x is equal to minus cos pi minus theta is nothing but minus cos theta. So, I bring this to left side, it becomes cos inverse x is equal to pi minus theta while theta was assumed to be cos inverse minus x. So, cos inverse x is equal to pi minus cos inverse minus x. Now, I go for a change of uh, uh, articles. So, I get here what cos inverse minus x is equal to pi minus cos inverse x. Hence, the result. This is what we have seen. In a similar fashion, you may also prove these two taking. As it is, we know that sine is an odd function followed by the tan being also an odd function. Thank you. Well, we have a few more formulas in inverse, inverse trigonometric function that I would be writing now and then I will prove slowly. Sin inverse 2 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x into 1 minus x square. 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square is also equal to sin inverse 2x upon 1 plus x square is also equal to cos inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to sin inverse x root under 1 minus y square plus uh, y root under 1 minus x square. If I take sin inverse x minus sin inverse y, then it is the same rule, but minus will join over there. Similarly, cos inverse x plus cos inverse y is equal to cos inverse x y minus root under 1 minus x square into root under 1 minus y square. If minus joins here, then here the plus joins over. Then similarly, we have tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y. If minus joins over, then minus here and the minus becomes the plus. So, these are the formulas which we will now be discussing how to prove each of them. I will take with the first one, the I take uh, first problem that is prove that 2 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x into root under 1 minus x square. How I, how, how I go about it? Since I told you already the sin, the inverse is always an angle, I will start to begin with let sin inverse x is equal to theta. Thus, x is equal to sin theta. Thus, what I do is I take uh, sin 2 theta formula, sin 2 theta is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta. So, here sin 2 sin theta, sin theta is going to be x, cos theta is going to be 1 minus x square, then sin 2 theta. Then I do, I keep this inside, I will send this to the right side, then 2 theta is equal to sin inverse 2x into root under 1 minus x square, then 2 theta was assumed to be sin inverse x. So, 2 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse 2x into root under 1 minus x square. Here the formula actually is sin 2 theta formula is applied over. Now, I shall come to the second one. Second one, each one of them I will try to prove for you. Here the first one is, the first one is 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square. So, let 
let tan inverse x is equal to theta. Thus, x is equal to tan theta. I will up I will try to find out what is tan 2, 2, 2 theta formula. Tan 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta upon 1 minus tan square theta resulting 2 tan theta is x upon 1 minus x square. From here, I will take the tan to the right side then 2 theta is equal to tan inverse 2 x upon 1 minus x square that is 2 theta is replaced with the assumption that is 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse 2 x upon 1 minus x square. This is the result of part 1 of the second question. Now, if I do the similar trick here for the sin inverse as well, you will get like let, let tan inverse x is equal to theta, thus x is equal to tan theta. Now, here we will see the right hand side, right hand side is sin inverse 2 x upon 1 plus x square. What I will do is that I will make the substitution of x being tan theta in this expression. What I will get is that sin inverse 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta. That is you are going to get sin inverse 2 tan theta upon 1 plus tan square theta is second square theta. Well, let us continue from here. You get sin inverse 2 tan theta, I will write as sin theta into secant theta upon here the secant square theta, secant square theta. The secant theta and secant theta is cancelled. You get sin inverse 2 sin theta upon secant theta. Secant theta is a reciprocal of cos theta. Since it is already in the reciprocal, you send it up. Then it becomes sin inverse 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to sin inverse 2 sorry sin 2 theta. The sin inverse in sin is in the form of f inverse circle f of x is equal to x. As per that rule, it is 2 theta. But theta was assumed to be tan theta according to the assumption 2 tan inverse x which is LHS. Similarly, in the same fashion for the last one you take in the similar pattern take right hand side that is cos inverse 1 minus x square upon 1 plus x square put x is equal to tan theta in this you will get the same simplification and finally, instead of uh, uh, what is it called sin 2 theta you will be getting cos 2 theta getting cancellation and 2 tan inverse will be arriving at. Thank you. Well, children that now I am going to teach you one of the 6 we have got. There are 6 formulas altogether each one has 2. I will be taking only one of the 6 the remaining will be for you as a homework. What is that I am going to show now? sin inverse x plus sin inverse y. Let sin inverse x is equal to theta, sin inverse y is equal to phi. Thus, x is equal to sin theta and y is equal to sin phi. We know first of all, let us take sin theta plus phi that is sin a plus b formula. Sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b rather sin theta cos phi plus cos theta sin phi. Here of this expression this value and this value are known to us, but these two are not known to us. However, using sin theta you can find out cos theta and using sin phi you can find out cos phi. So, how do you go about it? I will write this sin theta and root under 1 minus sin square phi plus root under 1 minus sin square theta into sin phi. Thus, sin theta is equal to x into root under 1 minus y square plus root under 1 minus x square into y that is sin theta plus phi. So, 
theta plus phi is equal to sin inverse x root under 1 minus y square plus y root under 1 minus x square. Theta and phi have their own substitution sin inverse x plus sin inverse y is equal to sin inverse x root under 1 minus y square plus y root under 1 minus x square in a similar fashion you can deal with remaining 5 problems this procedures remain same only the formulas which you have which you have to apply are cos a plus b cos a minus b tan a plus b and tan a minus b thank you well dear children we are now going to deal a few problems of exercise 2.2 and 2.3 as well and of course miscellaneous exercise now, to begin with i will be taking the first one how to prove prove that 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 is equal to tan inverse 31 by 17. Well, I will take left hand side in this problem, I will take 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 plus tan inverse 1 by 7. Now, what happens here in this case? 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 because of the presence of this particular term you will not be able to apply tan inverse x plus tan inverse y is equal to tan inverse x plus y upon 1 minus x y. This formula you cannot apply mainly because this 2 which you are able to see that 2 is stopping you from applying this formula. So, you have to remove the 2 first of all. How do you remove the 2? For that the structure is exactly appearing to be 2 tan inverse x. We have, you will go back to your recapitulation, 2 tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse 2x upon 1 minus x square. Using this formula, I shall now reduce this into this format. So, tan inverse 2x, x is 1 by 2, 2 into 1 by 2 upon 1 minus 1 by 4 because 1 minus x square plus tan inverse 1 by 7 resulting tan inverse it is a simplification only 2 to cancel 3 by 4 jumps over I suppose it is uh, 4 upon 3 plus tan inverse 1 by 7 what I told you is exactly this. Now 